If the Bible is true and God created only two humans, Adam and Eve, then how did we get so many different races all over the world? Now, that's an excellent question. First, since we're looking at this from a biblical historical perspective, we need to nail down the fact that Adam and Eve were responsible for populating the entire globe. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 20, we read, Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. Now, certainly she wasn't the mother of all living creatures. This verse simply means she was the mother of all living humans. God didn't create other sets of humans and place them in other positions throughout the earth. As Acts chapter 17 verse 26 says, God has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on the earth. Adam and Eve were the first two and the only two humans created to populate the earth. Now second, we need to look at this idea of race. What do we mean by different races? You know, generally we lump people into races based on characteristics, races like Oriental or Caucasian or Hispanic. But what do those terms really mean? They're simply loose categories of people that have certain similar traits. But what kind of similar traits do we use for these categories? We find that it's just arbitrary. We just make up our own list. For instance, suppose we were to take the trait of skin color or pigment. The pigment melanin is responsible for skin color. More melanin means a darker skin. Less melanin means a lighter skin. But even using skin color to determine a race is problematic. For instance, many people from Africa have dark skin, but so do those from India. Yet we don't generally put those two groups into the same race category. Again, Native Americans and Hispanics generally have similar amounts of melanin, yet we don't often categorize them as similar or the same race. So what we see then is that there's no clear-cut line as to what a race actually is. It's an arbitrary term we've created to define a group of people with certain traits, but lots of times it doesn't work. In fact, some researchers say that the term race is so meaningless that it ought to be discarded. But what we see is that people in one race will many times have characteristics from people that we would say are in another race. In truth, there really is only one race, the human race. But let's answer the question. How could we get so much physical variety in hair color, skin color, height, facial features, etc. from one original couple? The simple answer is, if the original couple had the proper genetic makeup, then they could easily have produced all the variations that we see today. Since melanin is controlled by genes, we can discuss them as sets of dominant and recessive genes. And we can note them as capital A, lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b. Capital A, capital B are dominant traits, and lowercase a and lowercase b are recessive traits. The book Creation, Facts of Life, notes that if Adam and Eve were both capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, they would have been extremely dark and all of their offspring would have been dark. If, on the other hand, they were lowercase a, lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase b, then the opposite would be the case and they would have been very light-skinned as would all of their descendants. However, if they were both heterozygous and were capital A, lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b, they were an original middle brown in skin color, then in reality, in a single generation, if they had had 16 children, we would expect them, based on probability, to be one, extremely dark, four, dark, six, medium, middle brown, four, light, and one, very, very light. Did you know still today we can see such variety in certain families across the globe? So if Adam and Eve's offspring paired together, 
the variation would continue until light groups and dark groups got together and lost the genetic information to produce the variety in color, locking in what we might call a race. Scientifically speaking, then, it would be rather easy to get all the variation that we see today from an original pair of humans that were genetically diverse. Adam and Eve are all we need.